Now, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. And please welcome back once again to my channel. But just in case you are here for the first time, please support me by subscribing. And also, you can press the notification bell so that YouTube can automatically update you immediately I post a video here. Otherwise, I really want to appreciate my subscribers so much because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is currently. So feel very much welcome as you watch and I don't take your support for granted. The PS Raymond Omolo made a very clear statement recently saying that you may not be able to control the lake, but you can guide the rivers that feeds that lake. So the meaning of that statement politically is this. Recently, Ray Lodinga tried to counter President William Ruto's political moves from entering the Luo Nyanza region by burning his two UDA offices in that region, one in Kisumu County and the other one in Sierra County. I think Ray Lodinga is too much insecure in the Luo Nyanza region because he knows very well and understands how William Ruto operates. And that is why he cannot allow and he cannot give William Ruto a chance to enter the Luanians region because these are some political strategies that William Ruto used to kick out and to counter the former head of state Uhuru Kenyatta from his own Mount Kenya region. And the good news is that William Ruto never ever gives up. And currently as we speak, he has already unveiled some new political strategies also to finish Relo Dinga's political influence from in the Luo Nyanza region completely. I don't know if William Ruto will achieve these political objectives. But yesterday, the UDA Secretary General, uh, uh, Cleophas Malala, met with the Luo leaders and in a meeting whereby they discussed some of these issues and also they unveiled and they revealed to us the political strategies that William Ruto is going to use to counter Ray Lodinga in the Luo Nyanza region. I think William Ruto is too much keen in evading the Luo Nyanza region simply because of the 2027 general election. William Ruto will not be able to use the previous strategies whereby it depended so much in Mount Kenya region and in Rift Valley region. I think this time around, William Ruto wants to win with a huge margin and getting you know, in the, how, how, how the Luos voted previously, they voted very poorly for William Ruto in the previous 2022 general election. I think William Ruto managed to get around 2% in the entire Luanyanza region, which was actually not a good political move. I think William Ruto now tries to unveil some new political strategies to at least improve on his political performance in that region. So first of all, this is how William Ruto is going to do that. He will use or he will work very closely with the Luo leaders as their, as his pointmen. You know, there are the Luo leaders who recently uh, defected from Azimio Lomoja and also the ODM rebels and they are currently working with William Ruto. People like uh, Raymond Omolo, the PS, people like Evans Kidero, the newly appointed CAS, people like um, Professor Tom Ojienda, Professor and also Odiwo Owidi. You know, those are and several others. Those are the kind of political leaders that William Ruto will work with them very closely because even though they don't have a great influence in that region, but this small audience that they have, these uh, political supporters that they have in that region, they can be of very much importance to William Ruto. So definitely William Ruto will use these leaders to recruit more as more supporters or more UDA supporters to William Ruto's side. That is the first political strategy that William Ruto is going to use. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, the strong presence in the Luo Nyanza region. William Ruto will be consistently in that region in Kisumu County, in Siaya County, in Homa Bay County, and other parts in that region, it will consistently be available there so that at least it can uh, create a good uh, relationship with the residents or a good political relationship with the residents of that region. You know, consistency is the key. Just like how William Ruto managed to camp in the Mount Kenya region for four good years, 
trying to explain to the people on how he is the best to be chosen. If William Ruto did not, had not, you know, uh, persistently uh, make some political waves or political moves in the Mount Kenya region previously for four good years, I think he would not have managed to win the hearts of the people of Mount Kenya region, uh, you know, a few days to the general election. You know how how Aurelio Odinga and the Azimio Lomoja Alliance made an influence uh, just a few days to the general election in the Mount Kenya region. You know, there was this no that Aurelio Odinga cannot climb the mountain. This, there was this uh, rumors that Ray Lodinga cannot be accepted by the people of Mount Kenya region. But immediately, Ray Lodinga decided to campaign thoroughly in the Mount Kenya region. That is how he managed to get around almost 20% of the total political votes how people voted in the Mount Kenya region. No, this, this was a great move. This was a great improvement for Ray Lodinga in that region. So if, Ray Lodinga, if William Ruto had not come in that region daily, you will not have won the hearts of the people of Mount Kenya region. Majority of them defected. So this is the same same strategy that William Ruto will use to influence the people of the Luanyanza region to try to convince them, try to persuade them that he is the best person to be chosen, the best person to work with ahead of the 2027 general election. So presence in that region, strong presence, consistently present in that region. That is another political move that William Ruto, or political strategy that William Ruto is going to use. And that, ladies and gentlemen, to open new UDA offices in that region and renovate the ones that were destroyed recently during the mass actions that was conducted in that region. William Ruto is now on a move to open a new UD, some new UDA offices in uh, Homa Bay County. The ones that were burned in Kisumu County and in Siaya County, he will also go there and renovate them. This is actually a great move. You never give up. It does not matter how many UDA offices these guys are going to burn because they are just a small group of people or residents from that region who are paid by politicians to execute that move. But you should never ever give up. This is how William Ruto is doing it. He will do it again and again. And he will never be tired to persuade the people to be recruited to the UDA, uh, UDA party. He is trying, even if, you know, currently as we speak, the ODM is the, uh, the, the, the party that has been dominant in that region <coughs> for a great uh, period of time. I think William Ruto is now on a move to give a political competition to the ODM party. Yes, he may not be able to achieve uh, a great performance, but the ones that he will get, at least uh, he will have uh, affected the ODM party's performance in one way or another. That is what Raymond Omolo said it very clearly recently that you may not be able to control the lake. William Ruto may not be able to give, to be that wave in that region simply because Ray Lodinga has locked the horns in that region. But William Ruto can guide the rivers that feeds that lake. If William Ruto will get away with a certain percentage of people in that region to support him, he will have affected Ray Lodinga's political performance in that region. Remember that when William Bruton makes a single step politically in that Luanyanza region, Ray Lodinga makes a single step downwards. That is how it is. It cannot be balanced. If William Bruton will rise up and improve on a certain percentage of, uh, or a certain political percentage in that region, Ray Lodinga will definitely reduce his percentage in that region. So that is how William Ruto is going to operate in that region. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, unveiling the projects in that region. This is a way that William Ruto is going to persuade the people that even though you did not vote for him, even though you did not vote for me, I'm here working for you guys because I don't choose the places uh, that I should unveil my projects. I will work for each and every Kenyan who voted for me and the people who did not vote for me. 
Currently, as we speak, ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto has managed to appoint several leaders from the Luanyanza region, even though they did not perform, they did not uh, issue William Ruto with the kind of percentage of votes that William Ruto will be happy. You know, I think William Ruto got, was it 2% from the entire Luanyanza region, which was not a great move, actually. So William Ruto will unveil different political projects, different projects there, you know, good good roads, uh, unveiling and the, the market for the for, for, for the people, for the businesses there, and make good uh, relationship with the people from that, uh, from the Luanyanza region. That was my political analysis for today. That was the political strategies that William Ruto is going to use to finish reloading up in the Luanyanza region. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Do you think that William Ruto will manage to kick out Raylo Denga from that region? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye bye. But also, just a quick reminder, just in case you need some quick loans, probably you've heard about the Premier Credit, which offers different types of loans. So let me refer you to an official there who can assist you just in case you come from Kiambu County and also in Nairobi County, some various parts there. Just call this number 0780-600-142. You, you know, guys, I cannot advertise here something that is actually uh, not good for your consumption. I also I always make very good uh, because I because I want good for you guys. So just call that number, just trust me on this one, and you will be able to be assisted just in case you need some quick loans. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.